we've been focused on for many, many years, how we can invest in scientific research to understand the causes of breast cancer. And where we'd like to be is in a position where we can play a role in influencing what the sector does. And so bringing all those scientists together to talk about these issues. All in the name of progressing breast cancer prevention research. It's kind of our main way we communicate in person scientists because we're often sort of, you know, siloed in different universities and often different countries. So it gives us a chance to actually meet the people behind the science. So it is really important. The meeting today kind of speaks to me quite strongly because everybody's talking about different risks that can lead to an increase in, in breast cancer, things that I haven't even considered in my own research. This is a really important uh, sharing of ideas and uh, uh, also practical organization of the work uh, while different labs have different competencies and uh, meeting uh, people is extremely important to uh, put forces together. Not that many people focus on risk and when they do it's often not mechanisms, it's more associations at a population level. So I think bringing together people from different disciplines to tackle this problem of risk in different cancer settings is really important. Science works by consensus. It doesn't work with one publication, it works with lots of scientists getting together, like at this conference, and sharing their, their experience and their data, and the picture starts to emerge like a sort of jigsaw. It's always been an ambition of mine for Breast Cancer UK to be able to host these events to bring uh, experts in primary prevention of breast cancer together to progress breast cancer prevention so that we can actually start to have an impact on reducing breast cancer. That's what it's all about.